No sense, I don't the win, says so you gotcha who won't be Real pound dealers give a fuck about enemies I put them on a leash with my OG, smoking OG yeah. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to hurt and or bully anyone it's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community and give my opinion because my opinion matters. Sorry about that. Weenie Hut Jr. discretion is advised. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Francisco back at it again with another banger of a video. If you're new to this channel and you end up subscribing, welcome aboard to the Panchita Familia. First and foremost, I know you guys always tell me to make merch, yada, yada, yada. Uh, I don't have time to hear complaints right now. I don't want to be like another brand team. But something that I do think that can be of value, uh, I do want to make a tea mug because every morning, I, if I'm not drinking my tea, because I like to drink actual tea, uh, not just like the cheese mix tea. I always have a mug and i was just thinking to myself i don't even have a panchito mug so if this video can get 5,000 likes i'll start making mugs i know i always say it, but this time i'll actually start working on it i want to make some really nice mugs i don't want to have just like a vinyl sticker thrown on it i actually want to have like a nice mug so we can really be sipping on our cafe or our tea during the cheese man so 5,000 likes and i will bring that also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. 5,000 more subscribers, and we are doing $2,000 of a giveaway at 185,000 subscribers. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that. But let's go ahead and get started with this week's Freak of the Week, and it goes to... My boss, you're fired. Me, pause this Panchito's video. Why? Clock, please. Out for me, baby. Please clock out for me. Just give me... I'm subbing. Now, the first thing that we're actually going to get into, did you guys see, and no, you probably didn't see, that Mr. V-Lex finally popped the question. And if you're asking, wait, 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 what type of question? Well, it appears that uh, one of the friends, I'm not sure if this is V-Lex's friend or if this is Les Dumeco's friend, but somebody there at the event actually leaked the, uh, I think, you know, like the proposal. You could see there, everyone's taking pictures of V-Lex and Les, and this happened. Mike! <laughs> Lux and Leslie are engaged. Now, first and foremost, I know there's going to be people. Why did you not that? Okay. Here's the difference because I saw a lot of people saying that I'm a Latino TMZ. Uh, as much as I don't know if that's a compliment or not, the difference between TMZ and me, TMZ goes looking for the cheese man. Daddy Yankee waits for the cheese man to come to him. So let's think about it for a second. If he didn't post, I wouldn't have known. Why? But you wrote them all. Shut up. If the friend didn't post, Panchito would have never known. So let's think about it again. So if he didn't post, I would have never saw it. And this cheese man would have never been brought to light. Now TMZ would be looking at Let's Do Makeup's uh, Snapchat, Instagram story and be like, you could see in the background, it said, I do. And then they would post that and say that they're getting married. That's the difference between TMZ and Daddy Yankee. Now, aside from Daddy Yankee, uh, I do want to say congratulations to them. And I really don't even think that it's that serious that the guy leaked it. Uh, you're invited to an event for a reason. I can already imagine all the people that were invited, they're, they're told beforehand, don't post, don't post. Man, if you, I'd be the first one to post. <laughs> sorry about that and then i'd be never invited again and then i also saw comments uh some people are saying that he was forced because in this platica podcast uh he came out and said that he wasn't ready and then he's ready it doesn't make me mad or anything but uh <laughs> you do be like you do get overwhelmed with the yeah. amount of people like yeah when are you gonna marry her when yeah. are you gonna propose why haven't you proposed he's like whoa like slow yeah. down now ultimately that's not really my business to get in to say if he was forced or if he wasn't forced i don't think he would have proposed to her if he didn't really kind of mean it you know what i'm saying i think he could have waited longer but what do you guys think of the situation and did you guys see a whole update on Yulema now if you guys don't remember they were comparing her uh, to a young lady uh, and the young lady they're saying that they look alike and then I guess Yulema got upset now the girl made a TikTok and Miss Yulema actually reached out to me and kind of gave her side of the story and she had this to say Mike
I never said anything about that girl. People kept mentioning her in my life. All I said is, yeah, we look like each other, especially that makeup. But I hate how she keeps egging on the situation and talking about my baby's father. People in the comments were the only disrespecting her. And I told her there's no need to be talking down on someone. And that was all that was said. End of story. Swag. Now, I don't know how accurate that is of what she's saying in her statement. Uh, but like I said, you guys are twins, so you shouldn't be getting upset. It is another story if she continues to kind of egg this on and keep bringing up your baby daddy. That is kind of weird. And if you guys didn't see, uh, Julema and the baby daddy actually went out for a dinner. Mike. <laughs> So I think that they are uh, going to get back together. Like I said, I don't think their first initial breakup was really a big deal. Just one thought the other one was double dipping. Once you clear up the double dipping, then you're good. You're good. And did you guys see that the Ace Family House, now they're selling it. This realtor came out and said that it is listed for this. My You'll see most of the appliances are gone and there's things throughout the property that just shouldn't be there. The views from this property are incredible. Zabank, who in the fly in Dublin is going to pay $13 million for that pedazo de caca? Nobody wants that caquita. Tacos de caca, tacos de caca, tacos de caca. Have you guys seen that song on TikTok? Tacos de caca, tacos de caca, tacos de caca. Tacos de caca. Tacos de caca, tacos de caca, tacos de caca. You guys are probably like, my gosh, what is up with you and caca? Sorry about that. You have to pay the 13 million and then she even showed the, the water tanks outside. Why are the water tanks still outside? I'm gonna have to pay 13 million bolas and then an additional 3 million just to fix all the mistakes? That house is gonna be there for a minute, minute, you know? And the last thing that we're actually gonna get into, the last cheese man, uh, a whole update. If you guys don't remember previously, uh, there's this couple that uh, they had this paranormal activity where the young lady lost her baby and they were saying that the guy was demonic because of his tattoos, etc., etc. The guy of the clinic that they went to, like the main papi, he came out and said, Deja de tus fregaderas, Mike. Eh, buenas noches, ciudadanía en general. Les saludo el licenciado Javier Aguirre Romero, máster en servicios de salud, director del laboratorio clínico Kennedy y propietario del centro médico Kennedy. En estos últimos días han estado circulando en las redes sociales videos eh, de influencers de la localidad en donde eh, nombran a nuestro laboratorio, en donde sale incluso el logo de, el logo de nuestro laboratorio. Eh, ante esta situación queremos aclarar lo siguiente. El domingo 30 de enero, mientras me encontraba descansando fuera de la ciudad, recibí el llamado de una de las doctoras que trabajan en nuestra institución para solicitar el permiso respectivo para que unos chicos realicen eh, tomas, videos dentro de nuestra institución eh, ese permiso fue reforzado de manera personal por la visita del licenciado en terapia respiratoria Andrés Vera quien acudió a nuestras instalaciones de manera personal el día lunes eh, y nos hizo la misma solicitud realizar tomas dentro de la institución para, en ese momento pues asumimos que, que eran para expo publicitarios esta persona, este licenciado, no tiene nada que ver con la institución, nuestra institución. Tiene un, una relación laboral con la doctora que nos había solicitado en primer término el permiso. Eh, o oh, sorpresa de nosotros, que dichas tomas, dicho, dichos videos, habían sido utilizados de mala manera en, en dramas, melodramas, eh, novelas, eh, situaciones que nosotros desconocemos. Eh, y ante esta situación queremos aclarar que estas personas jamás se realizaron procedimiento alguno en nuestro laboratorio. Como ellos argumentan que se hicieron exámenes, jamás se realizaron eh, procedimientos. Nosotros tenemos una base de datos en donde ellos no constan como pacientes. Eh, se habla en estos videos de actividades paranormales y por eso nosotros hemos recibido llamadas tanto de la curia local, nacional, extranjera para que aclaremos dicha, di, dichos videos, di, dichas situaciones que supuestamente se dieron en nuestro laboratorio eh, es por eso que nosotros solicitamos una entrevista con ellos para que desmientan esta situación y ante la negativa de desmentir nos vemos obligados a aclarar nuevamente y nuevamente repetir ellos jamás se realizaron procedimientos en nuestra institución de ninguna índole y nosotros como institución realizaremos las respectivas demandas legales por, cuento, por cuanto la, la, el nombre de nuestro laboratorio está siendo mal utilizado por estos eh, por estos influencers. Muchas gracias. 
I was even commenting, how did I claim this energy? Just to find out that that booba was fake. Now I know there's influencers that always do like uh, fake pranks, but this uh, I think is the most lowest of the scummiest of the earth. First of all, the girl was never pregnant. So she faked that and then they're faking uh, paranormal activity. Now I really do wish that the spirits do get you for lying and, and messing around with the spirits. You know how many girls want to actually get pregnant and then this dummy is over here uh, lying about it that she lost her baby because of some paranormal activity when she was never pregnant and they use this clinic as clickbait. That to me is scum of the earth. And speaking of earth for the world news, did you guys see that they're trying to make a farm for octopus? A lot of people are starting to eat it a lot in the seafood industry. It's pretty good, but I don't think the whole farming thing is right. Aside from that, they are really intelligent. Mike. Zubank. And they're saying this whole farm uh, situation is a bad idea because they are going to have self-mutation. They're going to be aggressive. And then at the end of the day, they're going to be looking at their brothers and sisters and saying, I'm hungry. Come here for a second, big fella. But what do you guys think of the situation with them trying to farm octopus? Now I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here for you guys. Make sure you take a second and pause the video to subscribe to the channel. Remember, 5,000 likes and I will come out with the tea mugs. I'll do whatever I have to do. If I have to go to the callejones, I'll figure it out. We will get the tea mugs. And I really do appreciate you guys. La única posición permitida es hombre arriba, mujer abajo, cara a cara. Nada de que como perro y hito. Que, que como perro, que como... Que la capirucha y... Y que la amazón, mujer arriba, ay. la mujer arriba es la posición de las lesbianas, ¿sí? Y aparte, es no, como denigrar al hombre porque el hombre es la autoridad no. y montársele al hombre, es ándale, como su caballo. Ahora voy yo. No, no, no. no, no eso no. está muy mal. Bueno, que Dios los sí. bendiga. Muchas Bonito gracias. Día.